It's now three minutes and 15 seconds of closest approach, 2,700 kilometers to go. It's like one of those planes you travel on where it keeps on telling you where you are and when you're going to reach your destination. Except here, remember, we're out in space and we're 240 million kilometers from planet Earth. It's very exciting news indeed. We, I gather, are going over to Susan McKenna Lawler to see what Epona has picked up. There she's, she's gesticulating, she's gesticulating even before she has her headphones on, so she's obviously finding some interesting data there. I know that the red trace that she detected yesterday was much higher than she was expecting for the number of active particles around the comet. Can she hear us at all? Uh, hello Heather, yes Hello there Susan, how are you getting on? Uh, well, I'm rather surprised by what I see here. Mm -hmm. I have a trace, we're plotting omnidirectional counts in channel one of our telescope one, and we're seeing uh, rather dramatic fluctuations there. We have a, a rise in counts close to the bow shock, and then an oscillating behavior. And I don't know what it means at the moment. Uh, we're just recording it.